So in this video, I thought it'd be really fun to show you how to easily make an ice cream cake. I'm gonna bring the camera in just a little bit closer and get started. So this is the ice cream I chose to use for this ice cream cake, but you can um, choose whichever ice cream you like. And what we want to do is have the ice cream soften. So I'm simply gonna scoop a little bit of ice cream into this bowl. <laughs> you can't use an ice cream scoop um, for this part, but I don't have one, so I'm just using a spoon. Hopefully this should be enough. So I'm just gonna let that sit at room temperature and let it soften a little bit and stir it occasionally until it's the right consistency. So as you can see, the ice cream is starting to soften. Okay, so we have it about the right consistency. So I'm gonna start spooning this into the crust. So I usually do little kind of, for lack of a better term, blobs like this because um, it's a little easier to spread out in the crust. I'm just going to quickly add my next layer, which is some chopped nuts. This will kind of give a little bit of texture um, to the ice cream cake. And this is a part of the process that you can definitely skip if um, you like. Again, that's kind of the fun thing about these ice cream cakes is you can make them with whatever uh, you want. You could even make a s'mores ice cream cake with a green cracker crust, chocolate ice cream, and maybe like marshmallows or something as the in-between layer. And if you make these in a glass pie plate or baking dish, um, you can make more of it for larger crowds, of course, but also um, they're usually deeper, so you can add even more fun layers if you want. And then place this into the freezer so that it can get a little firm before the next layer. Okay, so the ice cream is a little more firm. And the next step is going to be to add some whipped cream. So again, just like I did with the ice cream, I usually do little <laughs> blobs um, because it spreads easier than putting it kind of all in one spot. I'm gonna start spreading this out. So then I kind of just go about trying to make the top as smooth as I can. So the next thing I'm gonna do is lay down a layer of paper towels. You could also use tin foil or parchment paper. Um, this is just to kind of keep the mess um, or keep it from getting too messy here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add stripes of chocolate syrup across the top. So because I don't want blobs of chocolate syrup, I'm gonna start off the, um, off of the ice cream cake and then just kind of run across it. So I'm just gonna continue that until I have lines across the whole cake. So we have that, and then the last thing is to have a wad of paper towels and a butter knife. And I'm gonna turn this just so it's easier for me. Okay. So then I'm just going to set the knife right across the top and just keep pulling until you have a nice little line and then wipe off. little line and then just keep um, doing this process until the top is completely done and just kind of wipe around this outer edge to clean it up and finally I'm gonna add just some chopped nuts around the outer edge just kind of for looks
So that's kind of what it will look like. So I'm just gonna put this in the freezer until it's firm and then it's ready to serve.